Where's the defibrillator? I have no idea. <laughs> well, we're about to find out in 45 minutes. Come on, Ian. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's all right. Sorry. Ah! Hey, what's up, Internet? I got Mark Sanset with me today. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. We're gonna do some training. I've trained a couple times with Scott, and honestly, I felt pretty good after each of those training sessions, so I brought in the big guns today. Big guns? Scott's not gonna like hearing that. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a meme. So, personally, I'm hoping to kind of ramp my intensity up a little bit today. I'm also wearing a heart monitor. I've been wanting to do this for a while, just while I'm training. I'm tracking my heart rate in real time on the iPad. I want to do a bunch of serving today. Good. I've done some serving with Scott, but I've kind of kept it pretty low-key. Do you ever feel like, after you start uh, going back to 100%, that your serve with your shoulder, you start to feel it a little bit? Or has it been pretty Under good? Under normal circumstances, yeah. or you mean now? Now. I haven't done 100% okay. serving. Uh -oh. So I can, yeah. <laughs> right. Here we go. Yeah, so. I don't have a good track record doing 100% against you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll see what happens. Uh, anything in particular you want to train today or, or hit? Um, actually, like realistically, I do want to uh, not only serve a lot, but just hit a lot of forehands. Okay. Uh, my forehand has always been a weakness of mine um, for the most part. I want to be able to, you know, be comfortable, groove it out, and get some sweat going. Want to tell people what racket you got today? Oh, yeah, I have the Zverev endorsed racket. So I want to see how many times I actually double fault with a head <laughs> gravity tour. So um, that. Does it have his name somewhere on there? No, you, no. You can like look at it and yell. No, no. <laughs> Zverev. We'll see if this uh, actually comes to fruition more often than awesome. not. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Any bets on if uh, Ian breaks his ankle in this hitting session? When was the last time you hit? Uh, about a week and a half ago. Oh, it's not too bad. No. And you've been cycling a lot, so a you're still bit. in pretty good shape. It's not, it's not like my heart and my lungs I'm, I'm worried about. It's more, it's more my uh, reaction time in my hands, and I just haven't hit a lot. Got it, got it. But I, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape right now. No, for having slight food poisoning, I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> what did you, you, do you know what you ate? It's either Indian food, Water from Texas, uh, food from Newcomb's Tennis Ranch, or the lack of Taco Bell. The <laughs> lack of Taco Bell. Okay, so right now I'm at 108. Not bad. Nice shot. 136. Uh-oh. Remember, 190. Where's the defibrillator? I have no idea. <laughs> well, we're about actually, to find out in 45 actually, minutes. I think it's right, it's right up there. <laughs> Got him. One forty nine. Jeez. Sorry. Sorry. One fifty-three. Jeez. Are you sweating? No, not yet. So when I'm cycling. 150 to 155 is like my hangout, like beats per minute. And then about 165 is usually about my peak. You've never done 200? No. <laughs> Why don't you grab those? I'd hate for you to twist your ankle. We'd be even then. I've never seen it above 165. Come on. Okay. On, on the bike. So I'm curious if I get above that when we start really yeah. going at it. That's kind of what I expected, was to kind of hang out around 150, like during general uh, hitting. Uh, 159. 
So I bet you, I bet you at some point I'll hit 170, and I'll probably be about the max, I bet. You sweating now? Just like just starting to a little bit. I just saw 160, so that's like around peak cycling heart rate for me. Well, how hard do you go in cycling too, right? That's that's a question. It's a different kind of like effort, yeah, and energy because I'm like, there's not really a break. Like you're always, but you're not always gunning it like you are running for a drop that's shot. That's true. Or a shank, yeah, right? it's true. Yeah, I'm down to 115. So that's a, you know 40 beat per minute drop in like a minute. Sorry. All right. Scott hits a much more direct uh, ball. It's a hard shot, but it's not as bouncy. Mark, Mark has a heavier ball off of both sides. And that's kind of its own thing to get acclimated to. Like it's one thing to uh, get used to intensity <laughs> and speed of ball, but then adding heaviness like the, uh, to the bounce of it is a whole other timing dynamic. That's why I really wanted to spend a little bit of time with Mark. I feel bad because I'm not really sending him a lot of consistency back. But uh, it's exactly what I, I need to see. To keep ramping up my, uh, my preparation. Come on, yes. My bad, my bad. One more, my one bad. more. There we go. Just out. Yeah, it's kind of around in the ballpark, what I was expecting. What you expected? Yeah, yeah. I, it's kind of like cycling. I'm peaking around 160 and I'm, I'm kind of settling in around 150 as like a, a work like average. There's that rule of thumb, right? It's 220 minus your age is your max. So newborn babies have the highest rate. Is it? Well, you subtract your age. You're killing it, babies. Good job. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> I, but that's like your peak. Like that's not necessarily peak? like where. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, but yeah, I think 220 is like the optimal human like okay. max. Like you're not going to get above that, I think. No, I mean. MEP Ben, he, he's... He stays at 32. <laughs> at all times. Like Resting, no matter, sleeping, sprinting. running a marathon. Yeah, right, 32. Trading stocks. <laughs> Shout out to Ben, MEP. Always at a steady 32. All right, what now? Um, I'll, I'll hit some volleys. Good start, good start. Let's go. Wow, that's weird. You're missing the easy one. I think, I think it's the chest band. Really? I, I get up to about here and it kind of sinks down a little bit and I'm like. <laughs> Is it like a bra? <laughs> yeah, ki yeah kind of. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta, I gotta keep it adjusting myself. <laughs> Baseline points. Yeah. Shooting for three, three points per game out of seven. That's my, that's my goal. Here we go. Curve. Curve the ball. A nice shot.
Good shot. A shot. <laughs> Well, if Mark's gonna basically keep tanking, then I suppose I'll try to, like my goal is to win for sure. If he starts, if he starts like actually trying to win, then I'll go back to my three out of, out of seven goal. I don't mean tanking like he's trying to lose, but it's obviously his, his like energy and effort is just, just low today. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's the curve. Gotta find the timing, but at least I'm shaping that a little bit. Ah! Find it, find it. I find that slot. The angle of the racket and steepness. I'm just not finding it when I swing hard. Yep. Good shot. Now I know he's actually trying to win because he's hitting the backhands. He doesn't want to lose again. Jesus! Let's go! Where am I at? 166. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I need a therapist. No comment. That is literally a 4-0 shot. Literally. <laughs> My shot or your shot? Both. <laughs> I don't know, there's something like not clicking. It's crazy. Oh, I want this. I want this. Uh, uh. All right. I need Taco Bell. I thought you were playing well. I mean, I would say relative to how much I've been playing, I'm playing pretty yeah. good. It's good. I'll take it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for hitting. Serve actually feels pretty good. Yeah. But this. Like, really, I don't feel it at all. This it's, motion? No, it's this. It's this way. That's what tore it, is, is this motion. So that's why I'm not hitting the drive. Even the slice, like, I'm not super strong with it yet, but it feels fine. Do you feel like sometime during the off season you're gonna try to be able to drive with yes. the correct mechanics? Yes, yeah. Okay. That's the idea. But I'm gonna, like, my first goal is just don't tear it again. So, like, for the, time, for the time being, jumping back in and getting my like conditioning back up and my, like just seeing the ball. Well, your conditioning's fine. I think your yeah, sightseeing after fine. the ground stroke games were fine. Yeah. So I think you're right where you need to be given everything that's happened. Relative to what's happened, yeah. Yeah. I think I've maintained myself relatively well. Good. For being an old man. 
you're not Scott. <laughs> nice. Thanks everybody for watching today, I appreciate it. My goal is to play a match in the next like, I don't know, probably two weeks, I wanna say, like pending. Like, two to three, yeah. If I wake up tomorrow, my shoulder feels totally fine. I feel like I'm pretty, pretty ready to go. Yeah. As long as I just uh, stick to the slice. So yeah, maybe like two weeks from now, I'll play my first match back. And Topher's hitting pretty well. I hit with him yesterday Is for he? a little bit. Yeah. He told me he's like he's training. Yeah. Like no, to, he's... to play me. Yeah, I mean he he's uh He wants a better result than last time. He's just as good as when he last played you, if not maybe even a little bit better. Okay. So it's gonna be a challenge for you to say the least. Good. Did you miss me? It's good to be back. So this is my first match back in uh, nine months. Excited to come back and, and play Ian again in his comeback match. I know he's been you know, itching to run this one back. So goal number one is don't re-injure myself. <clears throat> Uh, goal number two is don't re-injure myself. And goal number three is to beat Topher again. 